Hey, sand fans and dudaticks, Sand Phil here. Well, I got a rebuild kit for this master cylinder, so I thought today we might uh, take this one off the four wheeler and see if I can't put one in. Now, I've done a lot of carburetor rebuilds in my life, but I have never rebuilt the master cylinder on one of these, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I ordered this kit. It's a uh, rear master cylinder rebuild kit, and um, I don't know if you guys can see it there. It came from All Balls. <laughs> so uh, anyway, this is the one that fits the Warrior. So if you guys have a Warrior, let's see if that'll focus in there. If you guys are ha if you guys have a Warrior, then uh, this will this will be the one that fits it. I was looking online. It, it's got a bunch of different part numbers, so. It probably fits all kinds of different stuff, but uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, it's a all balls. Oh, look, we got a sticker. We got a sticker. We'll, we'll put that on the wall here later on. Maybe we'll start putting stickers that everybody sends us up here. Not to mention, you guys, I've got... Speaking of stickers, look, we got Sand Squatch Racing stickers in. Doo doo doo. Awesome. But I think maybe this should be the very first sticker we put on the wall here. And so, now that I got my shop all clean and it's nice to work out in here, <laughs> let's just put this guy right here. What do you guys say? Sand Squatch Racing. Okay. I found this little tray I'd made a long time ago. I thought this might be kind of good to catch all the brake fluid and stuff that's going to come out of this system. So, uh, anyway, that's enough talking. Let's let's get rebuilding this thing. Um, I'm just going to unhook this right here. And that's just a Phillips screw. Take that out. This guy. There we go. I'm drain out. We'll set it over there. Alright. Now, like I said, I haven't ever done one of these, but it doesn't look like it could be that intense. There's a little o ring. And that sure looks. That sure looks bent to me. So it's probably not a good thing. I don't think it's supposed to be bent. But anyway, uh, let's get going. Now I saw the guys take all this stuff off, but I don't see the need in it. Why can't we just take this clip out and then? Can you guys see that? You just take this clip out of the bottom of this, and then this whole rod should come out. Let me find my snap, snap ring pliers. Alright. But, I thought I might wrap this towel around it so if stuff comes flying out, I wouldn't catch it. Yeah, alright. Looks like we got that part out. Yeah, it doesn't look good in here. It looks kind of all nastified. So, probably gonna have to clean all this stuff up. Look at that; it's pretty, pretty rusty. So, let's see how that goes. Let's clean all this stuff up while we got it off too. So, all right, now this should be plunger part and it really didn't look that bad. It's 
Definitely got some junk. Definitely got some junk on it. So that part didn't come in the kit. So looks like maybe I got some water or something up in there. It's all all kind of rusty. But uh, anyway, it's not too bad. I think I'm gonna clean all this up. I just put it on the wire brush and knock all this loose paint off. And uh, anyway, and then we'll uh, we'll clean out the inside there with some brake clean. It's it's pretty nasty. Um, you know I've got another one of these too laying around. Uh, I've got a whole nother back set of uh, brake parts for this bike. So what we might do is set all these parts aside and let's take the other one apart. See if it looks any better inside it than this one, because this one has definitely gotten water up in it. It's it's pretty rusty. So. I'm just gonna lay all these parts like right here. And let me go find the other one. And let me go find the other one and I'll be right back. Well, alright everybody, I got all these uh, parts cleaned up on the wire wheel so let's see what parts came in our kit so we got an o-ring one of those and one of those things new spring new boot cool new e-clip and some new copper washers all right. Well, let's see here. Okay, well, we got that. So, now let's see what we got. Alright, this is looking good. Hopefully, we got something going on here. So, I'll grab my snap ring pliers. Maybe I can just get this thing started in this groove. Did I get it started? I think I got. Yep, yeah, sure enough. I don't know. It feels. We got something. It feels better than it did. Oh. Look at you there. I think we might have got it, guys. So. <laughs> Let us go put it back on the four-wheeler, see if we got back brakes.
wouldn't call that good. We got brakes. One step closer to the sand dunes. Hey guys, that's awesome. Brakes are done. Hey, if you liked it, please subscribe. You can like it, share these videos with your friends. I've also got a Patreon page, and I'll put a link in the description below on how to get there. Maybe get some stickers. Um, anyway, this is Sand Fill Out. Uh, be safe on the dunes. What the hell? <laughs>